Antonio Person is facing 10 counts against him, including second degree manslaughter. And Whitney Person, well, she's facing three counts, one of those being second degree complicity to manslaughter. Back in March, an eight year old Trey Harris died after eating strawberries sold at a school fundraiser. The incident struck panic across the community. First, all we knew was that we had a, an eight year old uh, that had passed away, unfortunately. But after toxicology reports came back, it revealed that Harris passed away from fentanyl intoxication. A search of the family's home led to the arrest of Antonio Person. After Madisonville police found over 28 grams of fentanyl pills, additional drugs, drug paraphernalia, and a gun. Not too long after, the mother, Whitney Person, was also arrested. Some of the information we were getting led to uh, uh, Mr. Person coming first, and then as things come in and as things come to light, then of course other people get brought in and uh, we interview them and things happen and, and then charges get brought. On Tuesday, the grand jury decided there was enough evidence in the case to prosecute both suspects. Antonio Person is facing charges of second degree manslaughter, first degree fentanyl trafficking, first degree persistent felony offender, possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of marijuana, and five counts of possession of drug paraphernalia. Whitney Person is facing second degree complicity to manslaughter, second degree unlawful transaction with a minor, and first degree conspiracy of fentanyl trafficking. Now, as the case goes fully in the court's hands, Madison police hope to bring justice for Trey Harris. We just hope this thing comes to a resolution where there's justice for him and um, everybody feels like the right thing was done. Antonio and Whitney Person will appear back in court for arraignment on June 7th. Reporting in Madisonville, Aliyah Malero, 44 News.